Hey YouTube, it's Sean again. I'm back with another mukbang. I'm eating the adobo chicken that I made the other day. I warmed it up and here it is. And it's so good. I had a little taste. It is so good. I spilled a little bit of my uh, pepper sauce with wiped the plate. Here it is, the adobo chicken and some steamed rice and some of my favorite broccoli, right? Not, I don't like broccoli, but I'm trying to make myself uh, eat it, eat more of it. And of course, I spilled a little bit of my pepper sauce on my serving container, but that's okay. I'll pick some of it up and put it right there on my rice. I'll have another one of these ube sweet rolls. So good. Another juice. This is a, a new lemonade. This one is lemon ginger iced tea. Not lemon, excuse me. This is lemon ginger tea with just a splash of juice in it and two maraschino cherries. It's very refreshing. And on a hot day like this, oh, it's about 85 degrees. It hits the spot. What's, what, what's the um, temperature out where you guys are? We've been going through some serious heat waves and we are wusses and we, okay, maybe I'm the wuss, right? <laughs> we can't take it. Let me lower this a little bit. I'm a wuss out here and I cannot take hot heat. I should get in the pool, but uh, there's too, too, too many children out there. I can't handle it with all those kids. Wow, this is so good. I love, love chicken adobo. And when I had the adobo chicken from the restaurant, it was seasoned down to the bone. Here's mine, my version. No, that's good. Really good, but I have to say, mine is nowhere near the flavorful um, adobo chicken that they made. I know where I messed up. I need to let it marinate with a little bit more, um, a little bit longer. I did marinate it overnight, but I'll put a little bit more um, garlic in it, a little bit more vinegar. Because when I was eating the one that they made, it had a lot of twang or tang, and I like that vinegar taste. So. But anyway, this one's still pretty good. Pretty good for my first try. <laughs> this is the bones. <laughs> Even I cooked mine tender enough, the bones fell apart. <laughs> and put some more of this sauce on my food. This is the finadini sauce that I've told you guys about in every video. I put extra uh, Thai bird chili peppers in it. And I like to eat that with my rice. So don't mind me, I'm gonna eat a little bit. So good. Love chicken. Wow. Ooh. Those uh Thai chilies. Those little suckers are hot. Why? Those things are hot. Oh. Ooh. Wow. <laughs> Ooh. Those Thai. Thai peppers are, ooh, they're hot. Ooh, let me see them. No. Get some plain rice. Ooh. This cucumber hopefully calms my mouth down. Oh. Ooh, that's hot. Ooh. <laughs> like it hot but wow it's giving me hiccups it's so hot the recipe for this double chicken is in the description bar food addicts 
I follow them. I write down all the recipes that, that I really like. And this was one of them. I don't have to tell you to follow these people because they have just thousands of followers. But you probably already know who he is. But Food Fanatics, oh my God. Everything they cook, I love. My mouth is on fire. I'm noticing that I still haven't tasted that uh, that broccoli, and I'm getting there. Oh wow, that's a big piece. Oh. Mm. Chicken is so tender. It is so good. And the rice, oh my gosh. I eat rice pretty much with every meal that go with this type of meal. And I love it. Oh, look at that. What are you guys doing at your, in your state? What are you watching on TV? I am watching um, cartoons and all kind of different um, YouTubers I like. I'm watching um, Filipino cooking shows, Korean cooking shows, um, some people that I like in the US, some of their cooking shows. I think I'm obsessed with cooking shows. I'm a really good cook too. I can, I mean, I really can cook. But the problem is, is I don't have a, an edit. I don't know how to edit on my iPhone. I'm still trying to practice and learn, but I haven't learned yet. I, so if I cook something, I'd have to probably do um, a YouTube live and just cook it all the way through until everything is done. So that's probably what I'm gonna do until I get my new computer and software, editing software. I'll just cook everything, like maybe a couple, maybe the entree, everything that goes with it, the dessert. These bones. <laughs> they just break up in a million pieces. <laughs> You have to get you some of this. The bread is sweet, so it goes perfect with this uh, hot, spicy, rich meal. That is a, uh, a different kind of taste. I don't know if I'm gonna make it eating this broccoli. I like how that um, 
Got a double chicken head zone sauce. He made his own nice and soft. One thing I didn't do right either, after I cooked all the chicken and everything, I was supposed to take the chicken out when it was done, let it cool down, and then fry it until it was a little bit crispy, then put it back in the sauce. I didn't do that, but I will do it next time. Very rich and filling. I think I'm okay with that. Yeah, I think I'm gonna put a little bit more garlic the next time. Cucumbers really go with this kind of food. Perfect. It is perfect. Man, somebody else, somebody's barbecuing outside. And that barbecue is, oh my gosh, this smells so good. I'm going to make, um, a picture of this tea tonight for you guys but I'm gonna make the uh, I'm gonna make the calamansi tea for you guys tonight and show you how I put it together so I'll make probably like five minutes because this tea although I was a little irritated when I as I got my uh, grocery haul from Walmart I, I always buy decaf tea and when I got home as I'm making my tea, I'm like, wait a minute, this tea looks a little different. Why was it full caffeine tea? So I looked on the box and it had level one through five. And of course mine was four. I don't drink caffe caffeinated things. But anyway, this, so I just put probably uh, less than half of the iced tea, a little bit of water, a little bit of the juice, just a little juice, and then I, uh, let that mix together with a whole bunch of ice. This ice was filled up to the to the lid. So anyways, I wanna thank you guys for eating with me. And if you made it to the bottom or the end of this video, please like and subscribe. It really helps me out. I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. And as I always say in the others, I'm gonna have an amazing giveaway when I reach 5,000 followers. It's going to be epic watch. I'm giving something really nice and that one, it could be you. So I'm gonna get ready to say goodbye, but I want you to see the dessert that I chose, that no name cake. Yep, it's Mod No Name Cake. It's a cross between a hostess packet and a homemade one. Now let me tell you, if you didn't see my other video, you missed out. Look at that. Tell me that doesn't look good. That is so, so, so delicious. Okay, now that I've teased everybody, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you on my next video. Bye.